I've always been interested in coaching throughout my playing days. I used to help out with some of the coaches at school and at university as well. So I always had the interest to, to keep going with that and see where it takes me after playing. I had spells at Tottenham and Stevenage's Academy, um, which for me is a massive help in terms of setting me up for a future in coaching because of the exposure that I had um, across some of the coaches there. So it's a big part of my playing career was doing it at that level. Um, and to share that knowledge now through coaching is really big. So Harvesters uh, supported me by investing in my level two uh, coaching badge. There's a lot of opportunities when it comes to leading age groups as a coach, if you wanted to. Um, for me, I'd like to stay here as long as possible, keep getting my badges um, and making use of the support that I get. I mean, the facilities here, if you were looking at Sunday league football clubs, are just unbelievable. Um, and it allows us to actually, you know, look at the way that we coach football as well, because good facilities, good pitches, means that you can try and coach better ways of playing football. We always pride ourselves on a very fair and open way of coaching football and bringing boys into play and girls, of course. Um, so for us, it's about being a community club. I mean, the ultimate goal would be to try and make it a full-time profession of mine. I feel at the start I've been given and the more time I spend here, it's only going to help increase the chance of that happening. Um, but yeah, the ultimate goal would be to, to follow a passion and make that the full-time job. I guess it's the first club that gave me an opportunity to come and really get my feet and hands into, into coaching. Um, so I always have a special place because of that. And I think the environment that we have with all the other coaches is very inclusive, very supportive, and I couldn't have asked for a better start, to be honest.